Is it going to be Dr. Robo very soon? Yesterday's science fiction is today's reality. We are living in an age where technology is on an exponential trajectory. Robotic surgery is a true game changer. It helps the surgeon to view the field in three dimension and access hard to reach areas of the body more easily through smaller surgical cuts as compared to open surgery. In this episode, let's talk health the experts from the Apollo Institute of Robotics will help us know more about this latest technology that has taken over these surgeries. Technology is changing the face of Indian healthcare. Rapidly transforming medical technology and the availability of technology diagnostic and therapeutic equipment together with changing practice pattern of doctors has revolutionized the way healthcare is being delivered today. Technology has uh, played an immense role in the medical field, covering all branches. If you see the technology influence on medicine compared to say it was in 1980s to say 2015, the changes are so, so rapid and so much and it has definitely made the life of the medical professional and the patient much better. Today, medical institutes are at the forefront of enabling number of healthcare technology initiatives to enhance the delivery of a range of healthcare. Medicine nowadays has evolved uh, to include technology as an integral part of how we treat patients. Right from how they are diagnosed, uh, in terms of imaging, technology plays a major part. You know, previously, uh, when we didn't have imaging at, like what we have now, um, a lot of it was clinical examination and some amount of intuition and guesswork as to what the patient had. But over the years, technology has played such a major part that right now we know exactly what we're dealing with before we um, subject the patient to surgery. We live in exciting times. We have witnessed in our lifetime technological advances that were the stuff of science fiction a few decades ago. Robotics in surgery is one such emergent technology which is creating waves in healthcare. It is the newest and the most improved technology in the medical world. Previously we used to have open surgery where we were able to uh, save the patient's lives but not the quality of life of the patient. Patients used to have big incisions and they used to take a long time to recover. There was pain because of the size of the incisions. And patients who are weak always have difficulty in recovering. So laparoscopy came along, but laparoscopy had its limitations as well. Uh, number one, it, could, it, could, it, it was a two-dimensional screen that we were looking at and operating, uh, while the environment we were operating in was a 3D environment. Again, there was some tremor while using laparoscopy. Now, for overcoming these negative aspects of laparoscopy, I think robotic surgery has played a major role. The general term robotic surgery is used to refer to the technology, but it is easy for people to get the impression that the robot is performing the surgery. Robot does not do the surgery. Actually, robot is nothing other than an interface between the surgeon and the patient. Uh, so laparoscopy means you make small holes, but stand by the patient's side and use instruments with the hand of the surgeon to operate. Versus in robotic surgery, the surgeon sits in the console, which in turn controls the instruments inside uh, the patient's abdomen. So hence what happens, the deficiencies in laparoscope is overcome using the surgical robot interface. So robot does not do surgery. 
it is still a master slave technique the robot also filters out the hand tremors in that way the surgeon gets pure control with less chances of error in robotic surgery the movements are intuitive what you do outside happens exactly inside there's something called tremor filtration even if the surgeon's hand has tremor that's filtered out while the instrument operates inside again there's motion scaling as well i can move 3 inches outside while the robotic instrument moves 3 mm inside and the vision that i get is three dimensional vision which is exactly what i see while i'm doing open surgery as well another important thing is there's 10 times magnification when i operate while in laparoscopy we get about four times magnification so as you can see these are entities or benefits of robotic surgery that have completely changed how we operate pc jain a 60 year old gentleman has gone through several ups and downs in his life exactly it was on 30th december 2000 13 when i came to know that i have some health problem my urine was blocked i could not pass the urine for the last 4 5 hours then i was totally upset i called my family doctor he has told me to go to the hospital immediately then i first i went to bilroth hospital there my friend dr ac mani has tested me and then i was admitted there for 3 days then he has referred me to dr nand krishnan he came to know that he has some very big problem so mr pc jain a 60 year old businessman um i was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer especially the word cancer especially in in our country has got very very bad connotations people just are worried about the c word but prostate cancer is not something that uh, is a very aggressive fast growing entity it is a relatively slow slow growing entity when you compare it with other cancers patient was referred to me to uh, advise regarding the possibility of him undergoing robotic surgery i was totally broken all my family members my mother my sisters all my family members were totally broken we could not just we, do, we don't know what to do now my children were broken i have two young children they are both uh, studying now and uh, i have to see their future also so i was totally broken but what to do it is my fate years ago he underwent major aortic aneurysm surgery post surgery he developed incisional hernia for which a second major surgery was done after a couple of years he developed urinary issues he thought it was age related prostate issues there are a couple of things in mr pc jain's prior history that are uh, very important number one is he underwent a, a major aortic aneurysm repair about 15 years ago and after that he developed an, a problem called as uh, incisional hernia which is the abdominal contents herniating outside through the incision that was done to perform the uh, aortic aneurysm surgery so then he had to have another surgery where all the all the abdominal contents were pushed back inside and a large mesh uh, proline mesh was kept inside the abdomen so the the interesting part is when somebody has major surgeries in the abdomen the abdomen becomes a kind of minefield bc jain was diagnosed with intermediate stage prostate cancer His abdomen was a war zone having undergone aortic aneurysm and hernia repair. The surgeons had a look for appropriate access areas for robotic surgery without cutting the huge mesh that was already placed inside PC Jen. As he was prone to incisional hernias, minimal invasive surgery using robotics was planned. I was thinking that life is very short now. I may survive may not survive. So let us decide. God will decide now. We had to have a special uh, team performing the surgery. We had to have a general surgeon on standby to see if there were any abdominal adhesions. And luckily, when uh, 
we went inside, this gentleman did not have a lot of adhesion. So uh, Mr. Jain had an uneventful surgery. The surgery took about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes at the most. And uh, he was back to his room. So we started operating at 6 o'clock in the morning and he was back in his room at about 10 o'clock in the morning after spending a couple of hours in the recovery room. So um, this gentleman did extremely well with robotic surgery. The surgery came out exceptionally well. He had a very good recovery. Post-surgery cancer control has been 100%. I was admitted one day before and after surgery one day I was discharged. So it was a three days job only. It has not taken much time. Post recovery was excellent. Even doctor has told you may have a lot of side problems. But luckily it was fantastic. After surgery I have no problem. I, I have recovered very shortly. Today, PC Jain is a happy man and spends as much time as he gets with his family. He has left his past behind, making the most of his life. I must emphasize that a lot of it depends on the patient as well. If the patient is very active, very gung-ho about uh, getting back to his normal routine, and the attitude of the patient plays a major part as well. So minimally invasiveness, technology, the surgeon, we all play a big part. But I can, again, I must emphasize a bigger part comes from the attitude of the patients. If they want to get well quicker, I find that the patients usually do. So Mr. PC Jain was one such gentleman in a very supportive family, uh, the wife, the children, they were all with him throughout. And I think that's one of the major reasons why he's cancer free. Um, you know, no trouble with continence um, a year down the line. Think positive, then only positive things will happen. If we, will think, if we think negative, nothing will happen. So we have to think positive only. Coming up, newlywed 23-year-old Deepak was looking forward to a happy married life until he was told that he was suffering from kidney cancer.